Hello, my name is Art Merck. Uh, greetings from my studio. It's tiny, but as I say, it's powerful because it's uh, all it's in your mind. So basically, this uh, tiny area where, is where I'm making all of these accessories of mine. Uh, making them from leather and today I would like to make a presentation uh, of the uh, uh, most popular models I have introduced so far and uh, I would like to start from few which are the newest ones uh, so here I have uh, a case which is the biggest case so far I've made for fly fishing. It's made of uh, full grain vegetable tan leather as most of my accessories. Uh, painted and handmade from scratch. And it, it has a very nice marble brown, shaded brown color. And this case uh, is uh, dedicated for carrying uh, the fly tying tools and materials. So let's say if you have a fishing trip and you are not certain about the conditions you will find and just in case you need to tie some extra flies, you know, you never know going far away abroad or whatever. Or let's say you're going to the fly fishing fly fairs and you are tying flies on, on the stand or you know you let's say you have decided to, to, to tie some certain uh, type of flies and uh, you know at your desk and you want to have everything nicely sorted out so you just can pick the materials that you need from a whole bunch of the materials you have and place everything in one case and let's say you can just open it and you can select the tools you, and materials you need and just tie some flies a couple of hours every day. So let's say this case consists of two parts. One side is with uh, stretching strings to hold the cases, uh, the tools and another side has uh, 10 clear compartments for your materials so in this presentation I just placed in some of the uh, materials I use for tying uh, salmon flies so I have here some tubes I have some thicker materials and uh, stuff like varnish, wax, some threads, even hooks in the second one. Here I have some dubbings, some arctic fox, uh, polar bear, some capes, jungle cock, more, more fox and more capes inside it. So basically you can have whatever you want uh, inside this beautiful case. The size of it is A4 so it's the regular sheet of paper and the thickness it depends how much you will place inside. So as I said you can have this nice case on your desk and Whenever you want to tie some flies, you just open it and select the materials and tools you want. Uh, so this is the first brand new, brand new accessory which I have developed. The second one, it's also quite thick. <laughs> and this one is uh, of uh, the size of A5, so it's uh, as twice as smaller as previous one. At, uh, at the beginning the idea was to make a case for carrying uh, uh, shooting heads or fly lines with you in your backpack while fishing. But after I made it, apparently I, I just called it like a backpack case. 
you know when you have all the loose stuff in your backpack which is not easy to find while fishing and it really gets a mess inside it so this uh, case is, is made dedicated to keep everything tidy and in their own places so let's say I will open it and here at, in the first compartment I have some shooting heads I have four of them here so let's say if I go fishing at least spending a day while fishing by the river you can take some shooting heads of, of same grams for a, a certain tool, a certain rod that you will use and depending on water conditions and your mind and different strategies you want to apply you can change them very easily. Then I've put it in, uh, inside uh, some uh, speed line, some mono running just in case you know that something happens to the one you use and you want to change it but you know it's not necessary. Then some tippets, uh, here I have some extra things for my tubes, then I placed some uh, tapered uh, t leaders, then I have uh, a bunch, it's quite thick, I have a bunch of uh, sinking poly leaders, different densities and the spare stuff like finger guards or wherever you want so this case comes with five or ten compartments inside optionally which depends on your needs let's say for some people it can be five enough because you can place let's say really really decent amount of uh, things that you need it's not it shouldn't be like four shooting heads maybe you just need a few uh, also you even can use some uh, compartments of this case for uh, your flies like I have here in a smaller one so let's say if you need to take extra flies or whatever you, you just place them in and you know you have it in your backpack and in case if you will have an idea of changing the fly you can also find them in your backpack in this case so again it's it's made totally from scratch uh, I can show you how the leather looks like at the beginning it's the uh, color like this and then I paint and uh, uh, varnish it uh, and stamp it and stitch it all around by hand so it really takes time but it's worth it I use vegetable tan and leather which is used and which is common of making artistic leather products like uh, book covers and so on so it's really really high quality leather uh, so this is it about this case as less stuff you will place in the thinner it will be and oppositely so here I tried it to put as much as, as possible and then uh, I would like to uh, shortly describe the fly wallets that I make the fly cases that I make I have like several models of them so first uh, model is also in two sizes with clear uh, transparent compartments inside so one is a bit larger is like a size of a6 it comes with five compartments inside and here you can have like flies tube flies sorted uh, out by their types so i have here some sun rays some other let's say these ones are tight on cooper tubes then i have uh, some uh, francis some larger uh, uh, sun rays with l here head some more some more flies so this one 
it is in size 12 by 18 and it's designed for the largest pockets of wading jacket or the main pocket of uh, waders and it's really really comfortable to uh, to keep the flies inside this one I used it in my recent trip in Norway so I got familiar with it from a practical side and this one comes in different designs here I have the most popular brown and gold I also have black and cooper also two colored with uh, a stamp of a two fly and a salmon and the newest one is uh, made with artificial uh, salmon skin I will tell about this design a little bit later and also the smaller ones in different designs the size of this one is 9 by 14 and compartments inside are 13 centimeters long so what I found about these that these tiny cases they are very very comfortable to carry in your wading way, uh, pocket of your waders or in a wading jacket because they are much smaller and still you can keep quite big tube flies inside so these ones are coming with uh, five pockets inside also and let's say if you if you are on a fishing trip and for one day you, you, when you know the right the conditions some certain conditions of uh, water you can just select the flies what you will use and keep them carry them in one small or two small cases like this then uh, I have one of the first and one of the most successful model of uh, fly wallets is uh, 11 by 17 and inside it has 28 pins non-rust pins made of cooper where you can place the, the single tube one by one also with two patches of sheepskin for uh, to hold the loose hooks that you use for tube flies and these fly wallets are hardened on the sides so even though we don't have these side plates they maintain the shape and time after time you just uh, widen it like this to keep the shape of ellipse and it will keep the shape inside your pocket so this is the invention of mine which I have the international patent on and no plastic is involved in this one so it's as light as uh, the leather itself but it, it has hardened sides you can even hear the sound so these fly wallets uh, come also in different designs I have here black and cooper uh, brown and gold two colored in gold two colored in uh, cooper also hand tooled and paint and salmon and the newest one is this uh, salmon skin so as you can see this leather with some stamp application it has very nice texture and you can feel it with your fingers very nice tex texture of salmon skin and I uh, painted and shaded all by hand with a brush so it's totally made from scratch by hand and also it has same invention of mine that it's not squeezing and you make the shape of ellipse and it will maintain the space for your flies inside uh, if we talk about this uh, salmon skill de skill in design I have some basic models that I make which are al already successful so I can increase the uh, options of a design so it's 11 by 17 with pins it's also the larger one with clear pockets another one is 
12 by 20 with 35 pins inside so a bit larger one but also fit fits the largest wading jacket pockets and main uh, pocket of your waders and the newest one is uh, 12 by 20 with side plates as you can see here and the reason of that uh, as it has one side with pins and the another side it can be sheepskin or slotted foam so I call it double fly wa wallet where you have two different types of flies in this one uh, I have my own flies so it, it looks like this so let's say if you carry a lot of flies and you come to your fishing trip and you see some certain water conditions uh, like water level, uh, clearness and so on so you can pick all the flies you will think that you will use in one fly wallet and carry them throughout the fishing so I like this very much uh, another model of the fly wallets is uh, also with pins 12 by 20 it has 35 pins inside also the sides are hardened as in a smaller version and it comes also in all these basic designs uh, brown and gold and also two colored in gold and in cooper I also by the demand of fly anglers I can make these larger ones which are totally with pins inside so this one 12 by 20 hold 42 pins so let's say if I compare to the one which has 35 pins and a patch of sheepskin this one is made with pins only so you can have on this one like 42 tube flies which you can carry by the river uh, also I talked a lot about uh, salmon flies in general but I also make some fly wallets for trouts as uh, most of the flies are tied on hook so this one also has these side plates to keep the shape inside these also are hardened on both sides so they perform like boxes and uh, inside it can be slotted foam or sheepskin so it depends on your needs and what kind of flies are you using and these, uh, these ones in particular are made with uh, brown trout image which I have uh, tooled out and patented by hand I have several of them already made for fast delivery and also I can make a lot of fly wallets with different kind of images by personal needs so if you have your personal idea what you want on, or, or how you want to personalize the, uh, the fly wallet I, I am open and I am flexible to different ideas I also can place the names on these fly wallets I mean on all of them so let's say if you are looking for a gift or you just want it to personalize with your own name it's also possible so as you can see the diversity of uh, the models of, of these cases that I make it's quite big and uh, you really I think that it's possible to to choose what you want what will fit your uh, personal demands for fishing all these fly wallets are uh, varnished several times to have this nice glossy uh, uh, outlook they are also sealed with special beeswax mixture so the leather itself is not uh, soaking water in so it means that if it drops in the water or it's raining it will not get saggy and soft so as I said these cases they perform like 
like boxes, boxes made of leather. Uh, the thread I'm using is one millimeter thickness waxed thread, so it's also very durable. So I would say that these accessories will last for many years and maybe will okay, will be possible to to give, give them to your ch children or whatever. So so this is it. This this much I wanted to tell you uh, in this presentation. Please uh, take a look at my website which you will find in the description of this video, which is artmerkstudio.com. You will find there uh, all the models I make uh, in, in the shop section. You also will be able to get familiar with my work and to, uh, to know all the story about my work, which I have started six years ago. Also, you can find mo mo most of my work on my Facebook page and Instagram. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope that this presentation helped you to get better image of the accessories uh, I make. Finally, I think that uh, the Corona is al almost uh, done. So I hope that all the fly fairs which were suspended for a year or two will be held next year. So I hope and I'm looking forward to meet you at the, all these fly fairs in Europe. I will try to visit as many as possible of them because these accessories are, are nice in pictures, uh, are nice in uh, maybe in, in these kind of videos, but you really, really need to feel with your hands all these textures to open them and to have this personal uh, how to see personal uh, image of them. So, see you in the fly fairs and uh, tight lines. Thank you.